the first tip for recording reading I'm going to talk about is to do screen recordings. Now I want to show you how to do that in the iPad, but you could do it on a MacBook or on a Chromebook. On a Chromebook, rather, uh, it could be on Screencastify, is a great app for Chromebooks. You could use the QuickTime Player. Uh, you can screen record on your Mac with that. Um, on iOS 11, they added a screen record function. So as long as you're rec uh, running iOS 11 on your iPad, then you can use that. So here's how to get to it. First thing you do is you're going to double tap on your home button, or you can swipe up from the very bottom, swipe up, and that will bring up your control center. Okay. Now your control center has a couple of these little widgets to start with, but you can actually add a widget for screen recording. All right. So here's how you do that. You go into your settings, and then you go to control center. Okay. After you do Control Center, you're going to customize controls. And you can add as many of these widgets down here as you want and include them in your Control Center. So once you uh, put Screen Recorder in there, it will show up in your Control Center. Okay? So let's talk about why you'd want to do this. So let's say I'm an Epic or iBooks or something like that, and I want to record a Reload in there. So I can open up a book. Then I could swipe up, start screen recording, tap right back on it. It's recording me, and I can read the book. Okay, a couple tips here. Make sure that when you do the screen recording, there's an option to turn the microphone on or off. Make sure it's on. Also, tell your kids to make sure that the book is full screen. It just makes it a little easier to see. But then beside that, it's super easy. Once they're done, they stop screen recording and they can do this by tapping twice on their home button or swiping up again and then just tapping to end the screen recording. It automatically will send that recording to the camera roll or then you can send it to Google Drive or you could send it to Seesaw where it's easy to share. I'll tell you more about sharing in tip number three. Tip number two for recording your reading would be to use a third party app that kind of works like a slideshow. In this one, I am using Apple Clips, which is my favorite app. But if you're not using an iPad, you could use Adobe Spark Video would work for this on Chromebook. Uh, if you're using a MacBook, you could actually use Keynote and then export it as a video. And the nice thing about that is that you can take a picture of each page of the book and then record it one page at a time. The app will put it all together like a slideshow and then you can export it as a video. I love this because it allows you to go back and edit pretty easily uh, before you share it. Now in Apple Clips, you can see right down here on the bottom, I've got all my little clips. And like I said, if I mess up, I can delete one of these clips. I can move them around. There's a lot of editing that I can do. Another thing I love about this app in particular is I take pictures of the book in my camera. And the nice thing about that is that the pictures are a little too big for the screen. So what I do is while I'm recording my voice, like here I am reading this book, I can actually slide over so you can see the rest of the book all in one picture. So that makes it really easy for me. Apple Clips is uh, my favorite app for recording reading. My other favorite would probably be Shadow Puppet EDU. It's another free app. Not quite as many editing options, but also works about the same way. Tip number three is all about sharing. So you could obviously upload these to YouTube, you could put them in Google Drive and share them from there. The reason I love Seesaw is that I can immediately have my students share with other kids in the class. So I really like that. Also added onto that is there are some great organizational tools. For example, when my kids upload their work, I have them tag it into a folder called Student Reload. Okay? So you can see they just tag it with Student Reload, and if they forget, I can do it. Now when I tap on my folder, I can say, hey, I only want to see things in the Student Reload section. It will only show those Student Reloads, and now I can print them one at a time by tapping on these three little dots, or I can click on Print PDF and actually print pictures and PDFs for all of these 
at once. I'll show you that in one second. All you have to do is go into the wrench, go down to manage folders, and you can create folders with any name you want that your students, because they, they can tag their work with those, or you can tag them, okay? So when you tap on print PDF, it's gonna take me to these pages with PDFs and pictures. So let me show you what that looks like. So here's an example of what the page will look like. Uh, you can print it out. Your kids can cut out the QR code if you want or just put it up on the wall like this. Now we make little flip books uh, for kindergarten and first grade classes. I teach second grade. Um, we also put these on the wall in the library. We've given them to the public library in town. They work really well as you can view the work from any device that has a QR reader and I love that. One thing I forgot to mention is when you use Seesaw, if you're looking to print out these PDFs uh, in bulk, you do need to do that either on a Chromebook or a laptop. On the iPad, you can only print one at a time. All right, so that makes it super easy to share. And by the way, from Seesaw, you could also share these as a link, just like you would in Google Drive or YouTube. Okay, well, there's my three tips for recording reading. I hope you enjoyed these. If you have older kids, please have them make read alouds. It's great for younger uh, readers to hear older kids reading and hear that fluency. For younger readers, this gives them a lot of confidence and it gives them an audience, an authentic audience to listen to their reading. So I hope you give it a try. All right, this has been Eric Robinson from Teachers Talking Tech. I hope you learned something today. Thanks a lot.